Hey guys, it's Lily and today I'm going to show you how to make your own crossbody bag with a screen print design. And then at the end of the video, stay tuned because I'm also going to show you some looks of how you can style it. All you're going to need for this is just a couple supplies, um, some screen prints, some basic sewing knowledge, and creativity. And remember, if you don't know how to sew, this isn't the only way to do it. You can just DIY a bag that you already have. You can iron on your screen prints on a tote bag that you have at home. It's all about making it your own and just doing what you're comfortable with. So let's get started. to do is lay out your fabric and fold it in a way so that you can cut both pieces out at once. Pin the pattern down so that it stays in place. I'm going to be cutting out four because I'm going to be adding a layer of interfacing. Time to cut it out! Because we've already allowed for seam allowance on our pattern, it's okay to cut close to the edges. Now I'm doing the same thing with my interfacing. Next I'm going to layer up my pieces of fabric. First fabric, then interfacing, then fabric again. I'm creating like a little sandwich effect and then I'm going to sew it all together to just make one piece. Pinning the pieces together will help it stay while you sew. The pieces should look like this when completed. Now I'm going to stack the pieces on top of each other with the right sides together. The right sides are the parts that you want to see on the outside of the purse. Now I'm pinning the pieces together on three sides, leaving one side open for the opening of the purse. The purse should look like this after it's been sewn. I just did a quick zigzag stitch all around the edges to finish it off. When flipping the bag, you might have a little trouble with the corners. A trick is to just stick your scissor inside and poke slightly at it until it comes out. Now 
Now it's time to sew in the zipper. Locate the opening of the bag and fold in the edge. Place the zipper along this fold and begin to pin it all the way to the other side. Do this for the first side of the zipper only. We're going to do the other side after we sew it. The process is exactly the same on the other side, so once you sew that puppy down, just go on to the next one. Once the zipper is sewn down, it should look like this. So now it's time for the last sewing step. I'm going to make these little loops for my strap to latch onto. Take your needle, some thread, and a piece of fabric. I'm using black to match my zipper and screen print. Begin to hand sew the strip, first one side and then the other, to create the loop. So I printed out my screen print designs and you can't see it right now on the camera because it comes out reverse but you have to print it out mirrored so that it can come out correctly on your purse. Just make sure to follow all the instructions carefully on the printouts so that your screen transfers will come out okay and also test it out beforehand. So that's all I have for you today guys. If you like videos like this, please give us a big thumbs up so that we know that DIYs is something that you want to see a little bit more of. So be sure to comment and subscribe and I'll see you next Monday.